Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a live product research video for Amazon FBA. If you guys uh, watch my other videos or you guys haven't found a product yet to sell on Amazon, now is the time to do that. I have another product research video on my channel and this one is going to be kind of like a, you know, an updated version. So I like to do these things, you know, every once in a while on my channel, just, uh, you know, really walk you guys through from zero to 100 on how to find a good product on Amazon. And, you know, I want to show you guys exactly how I would do it. So today I'm going to show you guys how to find products that will, you know, net you $20,000 a month, uh, you know, 15, 20, 25, $30,000 a month. Okay. And, uh, all right, let's get started. So you're going to need jungle scout and the link for the jungle scout is in the description. Of course, jungle scout is the absolute best right here. Sorry. This is it. Jungle scout. So jungle scout is the absolute best product research tool on Amazon FBA right now available. I know there's a couple other ones, but I preach jungle scout is the one that worked the best for me. And, uh, you know, it really like, you know, because of it, my Amazon business is like blooming, you know, I'm making a ton of money. So, uh, jungle scout, you know, it's all thanks to jungle scout and, and the methods that I'm going to show in this video. So, um, I know there's a couple other ones. Uh, I'm not sure I'm not familiar with the names, but I know that jungle scout is the most respected in, in this community. And I know that jungle scout works the best. So that's just the one that I use. And uh, I mean, you guys choose whichever one you want, but the link for jungle scout is in the description. So like I said, number one product research tool out there. So, uh, here I'll just show you jungle scout.com. There we go. It's a cool little Chrome extension. I got momentum. It shows you cool wallpapers and stuff. Yeah. So uh, this is it. Jungle Scout is slightly updated now. They've got the Chrome extension and the web app. So you're going to need both of them. So I have the Chrome extension up here and uh, that, you know, pretty much you can just pull that on any Amazon product and you can just see how much it's making. And then I got the web app here. So that really lets you find like, like it says lucrative products. So, you know, you just put in the filters right here, what categories, what marketplace, there's everything. There's, you know, America, Canada, Germany, uh, France, you know, everything, uh, UK. So uh, yeah, so Jungle Scout is an absolute must. All right, so I'm gonna do this as if like, you know, I've never found a product yet. It's gonna be my first product. So I'm not really in any category. I'm not really in any niche. Uh, if you guys already have a product on Amazon, I would recommend continuing that line of product. So let's say, I don't know, let's say you're in like the beauty niche, then I would recommend continuing the beauty uh, products, you know, just find, just like literally turn these on. And then, yeah, you can use the web app for sure. Uh, or you can even just go, you know, browse, browse around amazon.com in the beauty category and just pull up the Chrome extension. Uh, that also works because the web app is great, but it's not, um, I wouldn't say, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you guys to rely on it, uh, only because the web app, I mean, everybody sees, you know, the same products in the web app. So, I mean, there's kind of that thing going on where it's like a lot of competition. All right. So let's pick the categories here. I'm going to go ahead and do arts, crafts, and sewing baby. Uh, we're going to do, uh, you know, don't do electronics because there's a lot of regulations and, you know, it, there's just so much stuff that can go wrong. Like, you know, dead batteries and just like wiring and just, you know, the thing can explode in the people's face. Like just I wouldn't mess with electronics personally, but then again, if you choose to mess with electronics, that might be good because no one's doing it. So, um, you know, as long as you figure that out, um, I always preach like, you know, going against the grain, doing what everyone's not doing. Like, for example, everybody's doing cryptocurrencies right now, you know, and I don't understand why, you know, the, the whole, yeah, okay, cool. You know, you're going to, you know, get a ridiculous, um, ROI on your money. You're going to get a ridiculous return on investment, but like people don't understand the risk that they're like involving themselves in. and people are just jumping from opportunity to opportunity. And it's just like, so, you know, I, I don't understand it. Anyway, you just pick one thing. So in this case, we picked Amazon and just stick to it until you're making a lot of money until you master the thing. That's my plan. It worked for me. You know, I'm making over 30 grand a month uh, in profit from Amazon for my Amazon business. And that's because I, you know, I started in March, it's already September and I stuck with it. It's been, I don't know, like six months. So, uh, you know, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. And uh, that's, that's basically the strategy here. Master one source of income and then, you know, move to another one. And, uh, you know, let, let's, let's say like, you know, for you guys, if you guys want to master Amazon and then move to cryptocurrencies, that's no problem. But in my opinion, you sh people shouldn't be getting the, you know, like the, what, what's it called? Like the gold, uh, shiny, shiny object syndrome. You know, people shouldn't be just jumping from one thing to, to another thing. Like they're not progressing in anything really. They're not making any money. They're just, you know, always broke, they're, like just throwing their money at things. But anyway, that's my little rant there. Uh, anyway, so yeah, arts, crafts and sewing, baby, um, health and household, health and personal care. I don't, I believe they don't require approval home and garden, home and kitchen, uh, home improvement, industrial and scientific is a decent one. Cause there's a lot of knickknacks you can find in there, like a lot of weird stuff, but weird stuff is good to sell on Amazon. So, uh, there's actually a saying like, you know, the more the, you know, the weirder the object is that you find the, you know, the, probably the better it is, the better of a product it is. So, uh, industrial and scientific, and then when office, no, we're going to do patio, lawn and garden, pet supplies is good, sports and outdoors, even though the season's done now, it's already the end of the summer. Um, and then for the price, I typically do these, um, 11 is a little bit too little. I would say even, I would even go up to like 14 66. Um, and so the reason that there's like these, uh, odd numbers at the end here is because you want to make sure that, you know, people are just putting in, let's say like 12,000, 
to 26,000. This is a method that I teach on my channel. Um, you don't want to be this person right here. You don't want to be this person putting in these, you know, uh, numbers. Because obviously, how, how do people think, right? They think like 12,000 to 26,000. But you want to make sure that you're not like every single person, that you're seeing products that they're not seeing. So, yeah, just uh, we're going to use these filters here. Estimated revenue, we're gonna try between 12,775 and 28,899. So for the reviews here, uh, basically in the other courses and all of the Amazon guru courses, all the Amazon like gurus, quote unquote, they preach, um, you know, don't even try competing with anything above 50 reviews. I would 100% disagree. It's all based on how good, how good of a marketer you are, how good at Amazon you are, how good, um, you know, how good you are at making like listings and bullet points and like, uh, you know, just like the pictures and, you know, th basically if you have an amazing listing that just blows everybody out of the water, even if the main competitor has like 300, 200 reviews, you can still do that product. Okay. You just got to make sure that you can really like compete there uh, and uh, actually, you know, beat them on the listing or something. So, um, yeah, reviews, we're going to go up to like, I'd say 266 weight. Um, you know, once you get past 1.5, uh, it starts getting really expensive for the shipping. Uh, if you have the money, no problem, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to do 1.56. Just go ahead and search that. And we'll just give it a second here. Okay, we have 7,300 results. So I think we're just going to go, we're just going to fly through this in this video right here. We're just going to literally fly because I have a really good eye now for like good products. So, um, you know, in the, in the web app, there's a couple different categories of products you can see. There's like sandals and there's like a shit ton of like different variations, for example, of a certain, you know, clothing item. And you can just fly through that. You can just like scroll down. And, uh, and then there's also like, you know, like pills and stuff. You want to stay away from anything like pills. Obviously, you're not going to source this from China. You're not going to buy berberine, you know, or vitamin C from China and then try to import it. That's like asking for um, jail, you know. So anyway, we're just going to go down and see if we can find something here. This is like like me, you know, just on a, let's say on a Thursday night, you know, just doing some product research here. Why not? So, yeah, I want to be as transparent as I am with you guys. Uh, baby bandanas. I know this is a thing that I even brought up in another video. Uh, but I think this is very competitive, this niche right here. All right, so what you would do is baby bandanas. Okay, so you would search it up. Baby bandana. There we go. You pull up the Jungle Scout right there, and it's going to show us how competitive this this whole uh, niche is right here. So I, I can already tell it's extremely competitive with high demand. Um, there's actually a new thing in Jungle Scout's uh, uh, Chrome extension, Opportunity Score. As you can see, they added it. It's pretty good. It's not always accurate, but... You know, it's good to have an idea of like, you know, whether it's high demand, how, how good the competition is. You know, granted, all of these are the exact same product. I wouldn't only rely on the, uh, the you know, the opportunity score to really gauge how good of a, of a product, you know, this, like, for example, this product is. But if you can see it's all literally the same thing, then don't do it. And for example, when you can see, when you like search up the main keywords, baby bandana, and make sure that they're the main keywords. Make sure it's, you're not like doing baby bandana drool bibs. No, baby bandana. That's Those are the main keywords. Don't lie to yourself because that really shows you how many of the same products people are selling so as you can see there's tons and tons and tons actually there is 20,000 results for baby bandanas so this is like a very competitive niche so I would definitely not do that product so let's keep going it might be good for a brand though I don't know uh, okay like camping lanterns summer's over don't you know just be logical use common sense I, I remember this thing this just showed up in the web a couple months ago all the time that's obviously gonna die down soon as well um, Adhesive magnets, car holster. What is this? Gun magnet. That's pretty cool. Um, 25 pound rated gun magnet for what though? I mean, like, how do you use this thing? Okay, so it's in a car. That's awesome. That's incredible. How how is this guy selling? 13,000. See, and you want to make sure that you can actually source the product. But I'll show you guys. Uh, let's just first see gun magnet. Let's see how good of a product this one is. We've got one with 2,500 reviews. And by the way, I'm not familiar with the regulations on selling gun-related objects on Amazon, so like, don't quote me on that, but I think that it's fine. Okay, so opportunity score, medium demand, high competition. So three out of 10, not, not a good product. So let's just keep going there. And also it's kind of sketchy with like the gun stuff. You don't want to be importing gun-related things. Like, I don't know, anything, you know, just use your common sense, okay? If you're like, if you see some kind of pills and you're like, wow, these pills are amazing. I can just buy them from China for like 30 cents and sell them here for 30 bucks. It's not that easy, guys. You guys are probably going to get destroyed in customs. You might go to jail. I don't know, you know, just <laughs> be careful. Um, okay biology anatomy dissection kit that's pretty cool might be it might be some trouble with customs though because there's like pointy objects and whatever but how much is this guy making a lot of money holy oh and by the way another thing if you guys don't have keepa install keepa okay this will show you how long the listing has been open or how long they've been selling it will show you the pattern 
the sales rank. Okay. So I'm like, I, I've become a master at reading these graphs. And I know at the beginning, it's kind of tough. You're like, what the hell's going on here? But um, basically, I'm going to show you guys from here to here. Okay. Basically, it's very volatile. And as you can see, he went out of stock here. So obviously, the sales rank is worse. He went out of stock here. So the sales rank is worse. And then he went back in stock forever. And he only went out of stock a couple times, it looks like. So um, his sales rank stayed the same. And he's like really high in industrial. He's really high, like 100. So yeah, this guy's making a ton of money. So I'm just curious. Um, so this would be dissection kit. There we go. So let's check this out. Okay, that's not bad. You know, I, just judging by the reviews and stuff, you can, I still think you can compete. Let's take a look at um, what Jungle Scout's going to tell us with the opportunity score. I'm actually curious. It's not that bad of a product. Like this would, this thing would sell. Um, medium demand with low competition. It's a six out of 10. This is a good product. Okay. This, it's not like amazing. See, that's the thing. You're not looking for home run products. You're looking for just things that will make you a full-time income. And a full-time income is like three or four grand a month. Okay. Like that's perfect. Okay. You get like 10 of those products out there. You're making 30 grand a month, 40 grand a month. And that's a lot of money. Okay. And even if you have this one dissection kit, just selling like whatever it is, a thousand units a month, like, you know, you're making a lot of money. You're making more money than 90% of, of people just selling this stupid dissection kit. And you know, you're, you can just go on with your daily life. You're not working. You can just do whatever you want. You can travel and it's just amazing. So you guys have to understand the power of Amazon FBA and just e-commerce in general and where this thing is going. Okay. So, um, yeah, so this is actually a decent product. And what I would do, um, because as you can see, there's, this guy is, is selling the most, He's selling 25, 600 a month. And I would assume it's like a 50, 60%. It's like a 50% profit margin on that. What I would do is I'd go on Alibaba. Okay. And I would check if I can actually source this thing. Dissection kit. Okay. So of course I can't. So it's, uh, it's, it's just telling me four to $5. I highly doubt that's how much it costs. And by the way, we're going to use our trusty Google translate. This is a very secret method that I don't know if many of you know or not, but <laughs> I just want to give you guys as many of my secrets as possible. Um, I want to get, I want to be like your mentor through uh, my YouTube channel kind of thing, you know, cause I understand it's tough when you're, when you're starting out, even if you take a course, you know? So uh, yeah, by the way, if you have any questions, just feel free to message me. I'm always, you know, open to questions and um, feedback and stuff like that. But anyway, dissection kit, let's take a look. Okay. So there you go. We've got our Chinese and we get, we're going to put that in 1688 the Chinese version of Alibaba. And yeah, it is 10 o'clock. I'm making this video at 10 p.m. I'm like, damn, I need to make a video today. Okay, so let's just take a look. Just paste that stuff in there, and then you just let 1688 do its thing there. Just click on those Chinese letters. Okay, and now you can kind of see how much this actually costs. So right here, it looks like there's no price for this, but it does look like a dissection kit. Um, and for some reason, it's showing us a bunch of statues of like, I don't know, is that Mao Zedong? <laughs> I don't know. It's just showing us a bunch of marble statues for some reason. Um, I don't know why, but anyway, dissection kit. Um, yeah, it doesn't really tell, tell us the price. So usually it would tell you the price though. So let's say like if this was this, um, it would tell you 10 yuan. And what you would do is you'd go on Google. Let's say it's 10 yuan. And you type in 10 yuan in USD. And that would tell you how much it actually costs. So let's say in this case, $1.50. So then you would know on Alibaba, it's usually they crank up the price just because they know it's Americans buying it or, you know, people that aren't Chinese. So you know that the lowest price that they'll go to is $1.50. If you can get something between this price and the price that they're asking, then you won. Okay. So as close as you can get to the actual price on 1688 that the Chinese suppliers are selling for, um, you know, the closer you are to higher profits and, uh, you know, not being scammed by the Alibaba supplier. All right, so as you can see here, we've got student lab anatomy dis dissecting kit right here. Um, you can kind of tell by the pictures. Uh, you want to make sure, like, if we're going to compete with this guy right here, this 20-piece dude, okay, we want something that's equal or better, okay? His listing is pretty garbage. Actually, no, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, it, it, it's not bad, okay? It's not bad. Um, the pictures are decent. I mean, it's, you know, for, for what it is, for a dissection kit, like, you know, I don't think you can really uh, do better than that. So, um, anyway... You, what you would want is you try to aim for equal and I, and I'm, and I'm sure you can get half of this guy's sales for sure. So and not, and, you know, instead of making 20,000, you'd be making 25, you'd be making like 12,000. So it's still a lot of money. Right. And assuming like, you know, 50% profit margin, you're making like seven grand a month. So, um, you know, like, uh, sorry, six grand a month. So USD. Um, so yeah, what I would do is I just message a bunch of these suppliers. And by the way, um, I teach the nine, 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 
uh, cart method in different videos. As you can see, by the way, the price, it's like three to four dollars. Um, if you see there's like a common reoccurrence right here, like right here, there's no price, so you just contact them. Um, and by the way, how you contact them, like this, contact supplier, click there and just go ahead and fill out the form there. I have an email supplier template in another video on how to, you know, oh, and very important right here, like show, it shows 11 pieces, you wanna make sure it's 20 pieces, and a lot of the times, uh, if it, like, if, if you see a supplier that's selling, oh, right here, we found the exact same supplier that sells um, this thing right here, it's literally the exact same thing, yep, it's absolutely the exact same thing, so uh, what I would do is I would just go ahead, message them, by the way, I'm not doing this product, if anybody wants to do this product, go right ahead, I'm sure, I will, I will literally guarantee you will make money if you, if you can create a listing that's equal or better than this, okay, I will literally guarantee that you will make money, okay? So, uh, actually I might do it, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, no, I think I've got enough products. But uh, it's as easy as that, guys. Like, literally on the first page, I found a product, so it's not hard at all. Okay, so anyway, let's keep going down here. Um, and by the way, I was gonna say, uh, Jungle Scout has this product tracker thing going on, which basically automates the 999 method. And what the 999 method is, is, so if you go here, you can see, you can open Jungle Scout, and it tells you, um, it tells you how many like sales the dude is making um, a month, like how much money the how much revenue he's pulling in a month. And obviously you don't know. Like by the way, I get a lot of questions from people being like, "Can I trust the Jungle Scout numbers?" No, no, you can't. Okay, they're purely estimates, and they're you know they're, they shouldn't be treated as more than that. They're purely estimates. What's this thing? Grant's dissector. Okay, <laughs> that's that's weird. Um, but yeah, so just purely estimates. So how you want to check that is you want to actually copy this link right here, and you want to put that in the uh, product tracker. So if you have the web app uh, through the link in my description, you have access and you have the subscription, you have access to the product tracker, which is amazing because you click here, it does everything for you. It literally will show you how many units he sells a day. And this guy sells 41 units a day at $737 in revenue. So like, that's amazing, right? So, you know, if, assuming, like I said, 50% profit margin, this guy's making $400 a day, which means, um, Four hundred dollars in uh, that's Canadian. I always think in Canadian because I'm from Canada. But let's just say four hundred dollars Canadian in uh, times thirty. So from this dissection kit, this guy's making twelve thousand dollars a month. Do you guys understand that? Twelve thousand dollars a month, like that. Okay, twelve thousand dollars a month. What is that? You know, and obviously on Christmas it's more. People, I don't know. I guess people buy more dissection kits. I don't know, but I know that always during Christmas time people buy more stuff. Obviously, it's the busiest time on Amazon. So you can actually say that that's one hundred and fifty thousand. This guy is making one hundred and fifty thousand dollars from this dissection kit. Do you guys realize? Okay, so if you're not taking action right now, if you're not, you know, uh, you know, if you didn't get Jungle Scout, if you didn't like get. By the way, if you don't have a course, there's a great course in, in the in my uh, description of this video. I have it in all the descriptions of my videos because that's the course that I personally took and that's the course that gave me the greatest success. I'm I might make my own course in the future because a lot of people ask me so um you know that way people can actually get like uh even though i offer so much free value in these videos i feel like that could really help people out so um yeah so I, this is a great product product but how are you going to make sure is you're going to put that in the jungle scout product tracker um right here and you're going to like you know just leave it for a couple of days even if it tells you the average units sold per day just leave it for a couple of days and uh you can even see here it says limited inventory detected which means that they're they're blocking the uh 99 cart trick. So what the 99 cart trick is, you'd add it to cart and you'd set the quantity to like uh, 99 and it would actually show you the stock. And how much you want to bet if I add this to cart, um, it won't let me like he pro he's probably limiting it to like, yeah, 50, 50 seller limit. So um, there you go. So uh, anyway, this would show you it's kind of estimating how much um, based on his sales rank, but his sales rank is really high and it's been really high consistently. So you can assume that this guy is selling. So, uh, I wonder how many of these 20 piece kits there are. Cause you want to make sure you want to kind of gauge the competition, um, dissection kit. And by the way, the fact that it's on the web app already shows that there are going to be, you know, there are going to be people that are coming to sell this soon. All right. So let's keep on looking here. Okay. Got some NBA hoops, trading cards. Obviously you're not going to do that. Jello shot syringes. Um, I heard about these from someone that wanted to do them. And by the way, if you want to check how good a product is, okay, another way is uh, Google Trends. And for example, Jello shot syringes, like, you know, just using common sense, like I said, use your common sense, common thinking, just think about it for a second, you know, relax. Uh, just, you know, really think about jello shot syringes, okay? When do people use jello shot syringes? During parties, okay? So which parties are people, you know, when are they going to be buying them? So jello shot syringe. Let's take a look. You want to make sure it's in the United States. You're going to do past five years. 
and there you go it will tell you all you need to know see these spikes right here that shows that it's not a good product why because the, it only sells on halloween what do you know october 2015 october 2016 october 2014 october 2013 and there's another smaller spike during um during i guess no it's just it's really just halloween so i mean halloween is coming close that's why it's showing up the web app so you got to make sure because if somebody was actually to invest into jello shot syringes they would actually see that um you know they're gonna sell well first of all they're not because they're not gonna get it in by halloween but uh yeah they're just not gonna sell a lot and they're gonna wonder why and that's why so you can really just uh kind of predict that right there yeah like i said there's a lot of clothing items and like boxers and stuff like that um Emergency keychain, self-defense. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, do not do adult products, okay? Because there, there's a reason why you're not going to do adult products, and that's because um, Amazon is going to put you into the adult section. And what happens is when people search, like, you know, dildo, 9-inch dildo on Amazon.com, uh, they're going to see that... Um, you know, they're, they're gonna, there's going to be like a section, there's going to be like a notification be like, hey, do you want to search in the uh, adult products or like the novelty or adult novelty or whatever the hell it is? And people, you know, usually miss that. That's why uh, you don't want to sell adult products because you're never going to be able to actually get any sales with them. And as soon as, you know, you're going to get sales for the first month, but then as soon as Amazon catches you and puts you in that pr uh, category and people don't click there to go there, you're going to see that you're just going to get destroyed and it's not going to be worth it. Cordless dust collector. That's electronic. But hey, you can still do it. So like Alaska game moves, like you're not going to source that from China. You're going to source that from Alaska and have fun doing that. And it gets really annoying when you see a bunch of like Arkansas t-shirts. Um, okay, pottery and clay sculpting tools. I bet you can get these from, uh, from China. Let me just take a look at what this is. It looks like it's a real like company. That's like in brick and mortar stores. What is it? Pottery and clay sculpting tools. Let's just take a look at that. I'm curious. You might be able to source this from China. He's making, he's making money. I misspelled that completely. If I just do pottery tools. Because those are the most general keywords. We'll be able to tell the competition here. Yeah, so not that many sales, but... I bet you you'd still make a thousand dollars a month. Why not? You know, why does that hurt? Medium demand, medium competition. Asbestos test kit. Oh, okay. I was like, why the hell would someone name their brand asbestos? Um, sticky dome flea trap. What's that? It's a flea trap. Okay. Oh, it's like a. It's, it, it looks like it's trademarked, but by the way, I would never trust that, like, you know, if it shows that it's trademarked, they might just be bluffing. Um, the listing is pretty good, so sticky dome flea trap. Let's take a look if this is a real thing or not, or if this is just a private labeler. It's in Home Depot, so yeah, it's actually, it's actually a real thing, uh, and it's going to be very tough to find on Alibaba. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, bachelorette party, don't do that. Because um, I feel like it's just, look at that. Just like all, you know, to source all that stuff. I mean, hey, whoever wants to do that, no problem. Pro it's probably selling well. But uh, it just seems like a huge bitch, I'm not going to lie. Um, baby monitor, baby pillow for flathead syndrome. This is actually pretty good. Only 92 reviews. You can still compete with that. Insane sales. Let's take a look at that. Baby pillow for flathead syndrome. Baby pillow for flathead. Well, I guess baby flathead pillow. I guess those are the main keywords there. Let's take a look at these. Uh... Okay, insane demand. Well, very high. But we've also got one dude with a lot of reviews. Medium demand, high competition. Um, I still would even say... If you were to source this product, um, and you can make a better listing than these two guys right here, 
and you can get a lot of reviews, uh, you know, if you can actually pull all that off, you'll still sell. That's all that matters. Having a good listing, having good reviews, you know, if you can get pull that off, then you'll be able to sell. So those, that's just my two cents on that. Baby thermometer, electronics, baby wrap car carrier. I bet you that's very uh, competitive. And what you can actually do is if this baby wrap carrier is very competitive and it's probably selling a lot, baby wrap carrier, what you're going to do is you're going to open your jungle scout here. Actually, let's just take, let's just check if it's a competitive niche. Yep, it's very competitive, so we're just gonna not even look at that. Um, but if you see something like this, like sold by Kakadu or whatever, that's clearly a, uh, uh, a freaking private labeler from China. And usually those guys are doing the exact same thing. They're just going to the web app and they're just trying to find things that they can source from their factory. So let's just go ahead and see. And we're gonna actually reverse look up their storefront and that's how we're gonna find some cool products. Okay, baby wrap carrier. We've got a nursing breastfeeding cover scarf, which is making a shit ton of money, as you can see. Number one bestseller in car seat canopies. Oh, it's a baby car seat canopy. I was about to say, it doesn't look like a car seat canopy. I guess it is. Um, so it's a breastfeeding cover scarf. Breastfeeding cover scarf. So as you can see, it's sort of competitive. We'll just wait for that opportunity to score. High demand, high competition. Let's just keep going. But anyway, that's another method. You can reverse look up people's storefronts. You don't even need the web app for that. You can just kind of use the bestseller lists. If you just go on Amazon, type in like baby best-selling products, Amazon. And you can just like go in their storefronts. Uh, posture correctors have been exploding on Amazon, so it's way too late to do them. Um, you kind of see the same uh, sort of products over and over and over again in the web app once you actually, you know... Uh, start doing this regularly because sometimes you know I'm bored I just get on the web app and I just start looking at products because hey who knows I might find something like that um, you know dissection kit or whatever it was right and uh, by the way not doing that I'm just saying anybody can do that um, you know let me know let me know how it went by the way uh, bath bomb mold we've got bath bomb molds and by the way when I first started Amazon I actually wanted to do these in Canada okay but Canada is such a you know it's a much smaller market and uh it's just way more profitable to sell on Amazon America. By the way, I'm not talking about the other ones. I have no idea how good it is to sell in UK. Um, there's even Japan, Australia. It's, it's coming soon, so uh, don't quote me on that. But I feel like that's stuff that you're going to eventually progress into anyway. But if you are, let's say you're in Europe, then I would sell in Europe because there's a lot of um, demand there, obviously. So that would be not bad. Um, bath bomb mold. Let's take a look. High demand, low competition. See, this is a product that I would do. Um, I mean, the only thing is the price point. It's very low, and the profit margin is going to be very low as well. So, uh, yeah, that's another thing to look out for. If it's like, if there's a lot of people selling it, like 10 bucks, you know, the FBA fees eat up like more than half of that right away. And uh, you're just going to be left with like a few bucks of profit, which, hey, if you want to do that, no problem. You might still be making a couple grand a month, you know. So, you have to look at the bigger picture. It's all about growth, in my opinion. But here, we'll do one more. I'll try to find one more here. And then I'll close out this video. Because I just wanted to show you guys some, some of my methods. I feel like I've already shown a lot. And uh, it will really help you guys out. And I feel like you guys would enjoy these kind of videos. Just, you know, chilling on a Thursday night. Um, spa, home, facial steamer, sauna pores with timer, and extract blackheads, rejuvenate. Okay. I think that, what is a facial steamer? Okay. Pretty good price point. $23. Not bad. Selling well. Okay. By the way, I'm assuming it's selling well. Like I said, you always have to check. 99 cart trick. Um, so what the, would this be? This is a facial steamer. Okay. So I think I have a feeling it's very competitive. I already see the Conair one, and you know that's when you're trying to compete with Walmart. Uh, we got this Krazer guy selling 95,000 of these a month of these facial steamers. Um, very good box design, as you can see. It's got some great artwork going on there. And um, if we just take a look here. You know, it even has a has a model there. So yeah, these pictures these pictures are absolutely great. I, I bet you this is photoshopped in there. Yeah, so facial steamer is way too competitive. But uh, you can definitely just click on one of these guys and just, you know, look up their storefront, like I said, use the reverse storefront method and just find something cool there. Bedwetting alarm. That's something that I've never even 
I never even knew that existed, but that's actually, now that I know it exists, that's actually probably very useful for some people. So if you type in bedwetting alarm, you'll see, just pull up the jungle scout there. Okay, so we've got one with like 3,000 reviews. That's ridiculous. You're never going to be able to compete with that guy. Yeah, medium demand, high competition. So let's just find one more thing here. Okay, Bunyan Splint. That's pretty interesting. I feel like that would be... Like, that's, that's an example of a product that's, like, very weird. You know, it's, like, a very WTF. But as you can see, it's clearly... It clearly solves a problem in the world. And, uh, well, here specifically in the United States, people have bunions, and so they need a bunion splint. So, uh, yeah, it's selling very well. Someone's making a ton of money from this. So, as you can see, there's so many products. There's, like, millions of products out there. And if you can just even take a product that's already selling and just slightly improve on that thing, you know, do, do some basic entrepreneurship, you know, you're going to make a ton of money. Like, that's guaranteed. So... Um, let's just take a look at this bunion corrector here. High demand, medium competition. And like I said, I wouldn't trust this whole thing uh, by itself. But uh, yeah, so someone, you know, they're, they're making decent money. Anyway, let's just do, uh, just scroll down, see if we can find any kind of uh, gold mines here. Uh, compression calf sleeves. No, we're not going to do that. Fishing magnet. That's pretty cool. Wait, what is that? Fishing magnet. I guess we're not going to look at it. Thousand different pants. Health cervical neck traction device. That's pretty cool. It's for pain relief, I guess. Amazing alternative pain relieving remedy. Uh, okay, neck traction device. Okay, so that's not bad. And it's uh, clearly selling well for a lot of people. Or for a lot of different sellers. High demand, high competition. Um, whoa, that looks not healthy. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Anyway, guys, I think that's the end of this video. Where I'm obviously not going to go through 25 pages of, of this, but you guys get the idea. Just, you know, sit, sit down, really, uh, you know, put those filters in. You don't use the exact same filters as me, just, you know, uh, maybe start at 6,000, start at maybe 20,000, you know, just play around with them. Go, you know, one night do this, one night do another thing, you know, one night go down, one night go up, just really put the time in and the effort and you'll find good products, you'll be able to build a brand. You know, let's say you found this Bunyan Split, you know, you're going to sell, put up this Bunyan Split, amazing listing, you know, great, you're going to get great reviews somehow, um, which by the way, I have, a, I have a video on how to get uh, a lot of reviews quick. So if you guys are interested in that, you can guys watch that, you guys can watch that as well. But uh yeah, you know, just you're gonna do bunion splint. And let's say you can just build a brand, a brand on like splints and like you know uh, straighteners and stuff like that and braces. And I mean, there's so many ways, guys. Like e-commerce is huge. It's only growing, and I'm so happy to bring this to you guys because I know that like right now it's just the the boom and the golden age, and it's gonna change the lives of so many people. It ch definitely changed my life, like completely, like. You know, 21 years old, I'm financially free, and I can travel, do whatever I want. And, you know, guys, I'm just doing this out of my enjoyment, obviously, and because, you know, I'm growing my personal brand. And honestly, it's fulfillment. Like, to me, I found out that money isn't, like, tough to make. You know, I can just find a product, put it up there, make a great listing, you know, and uh, actually have a high-quality product up there, um, you know, coming from China, finding a good supplier, and, uh, you know, it will solve people's problems, and I'm making money. And for me, it's just not, you know, for me, this is how I think, guys, like, if I, let's say I want to buy like a motorcycle, which I want to buy a motorcycle soon. So let's say I want to buy a motorcycle. Let's say the motorcycle is like $8,000. Um, so I would be like, okay, um, you know, what product do I have to put on Amazon for me to, to, to buy that motorcycle, to, for me to afford that motorcycle? Even if I already have other products making me a ton of money now and I already have the money for the motorcycle now, that's how I think now because I know that money is not a scarce resource. Once you put yourself in that abundance mentality, you'll start seeing amazing results in your life. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys are into passive income, you know, financial freedom, and of course, Amazon FBA, e-commerce, I'm going to start putting out videos on Shopify, affiliate marketing, you know, just follow my journey. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on uh, Instagram and Snapchat. Add me up on there. You guys can send me messages whenever you guys want. I've been getting a lot of messages recently from different people being like, wow, like your videos have helped me so much. And, you know, that's amazing to hear. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Anyway, guys, thank you. Feel free to message me. Like the video. Subscribe. 